If only St. Helena were France, I could be happy on this accursed rock. I am sad, bored, ill. In 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte, the former emperor of the French, was exiled to live on the island of St. Helena in the Atlantic Ocean, over 4,000 miles away from home. For five and a half years, Napoleon was a prisoner here of the British. Depressed and dying, he was a martyr to just one cause, his own. I've won the imperial crown of France, the Iron Crown of Italy. England has now given me a greater and more glorious one, for it is that worn by the savior of the world, the crown of thorns. Napoleon once controlled an empire of over 40 million people. Now he was utterly powerless. History has often compared Napoleon with the ruthless dictators of the past, like Adolf Hitler. He's been caricatured as a monster. These judgments now need to be swept aside to make way for a man of astonishing achievement. Napoleon Bonaparte was the greatest lawgiver, administrator and soldier of all time. He proves that not all despots are evil, not all dictators are tyrants. Yes, he could be ruthless at times, even brutal, but he was still one of the greatest men of all time. 